Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel connections in STAD Pro using RAM connection. In this video, we are going to show you how to review the results of the connections that have already been assigned to the joints in your model. And we're also going to show you how to create custom RAM connection reports within STAD Pro. Let's now turn our attention back to our sample model and complete our workflow for connection design in the RAM connection mode within STAD Pro. It's very important to have a very good familiarity with your model to ensure that you have resolved all of the connections that will be required. So we need to make sure all of the joints were assigned the appropriate connections to resist any reactions, including the shear and moment reactions on those particular joints. At this point, once you've concluded your connection design, you're ready to review some of the other results that we have available for RAM connection. Let's stay in the RAM connection mode and click the next page in the workflow page control area at the top of the screen. So now we're going to select the results page. We're going to notice that the data area over at the right hand side will include all of the connections that are assigned in our model. What you're going to notice is as you select each connection, you'll be able to see a drawing of that connection and its design report. This might be a little bit quicker than always accessing the connection pad if you would like to get a quick view of the status or the results of a connection um, and whether or not it failed. Here I have all of my passing connections. I still in this model have a couple of failing ones. So again, I can just double click on one of those, which might give me a quicker view to see what exactly happened with that connection. In addition to that, you can also create some custom reports in the post-processing mode that will include your RAM connection results. So let's also go ahead and see how to do that. Over in your workflow panel at the left-hand side of your screen, go to the post-processing area. Now within the post-processing area, you're going to be asked to set up your results. We'll just go ahead and click OK to get past that dialog for now. Now to include your RAM connection results in your report, you're going to go to your reports page within your post processor workflow page control area at the top of the screen. Now many different items are available to be added to a custom report, including a lot of input information and your output information. Included in that is also a RAM connection report. So here you can see in the available window, I could either select a full RAM connection report, which would give you all of the details on all of the connections that were assigned in your model, or I can also get a summary report. I'm going to choose a RAM connection summary, summary report. I'm going to grab this report and move it over to the selected area. Once we're done, we can go ahead and click OK. And we can flip our pages, and here we can get an overall summary of all of the connections that were assigned in the model. We will be able to see which template was assigned and the status of the connection. Here we can still see that we have a couple that are no good, and we also have some that are indicating some warnings. Another good area to go to to just identify which connections are still giving you problems. This concludes our process for assigning connections in STAD Pro using RAM connection. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.